now let us see about uh, Cognos architecture okay uh, it is uh, actually three tier architecture in the uh, base tier uh, the data is there and in application server this is second tier application server and uh, this is first tier uh, web server okay through web server Cognos users uh, reaches to uh, Cognos BA server from there onwards BA server it uh, uh, queries the data in the back end uh, that is tier 3 okay I'll explain you more details uh, about this architecture once we are done with the course but because uh, if you want to understand the complete architecture we need to know the tool first of all so once again once we are done with the course then I'll give you a broader picture of this architecture and now let us uh, see the different versions the earliest version this is IP7, IP6 enterprise 6 okay I am not too sure whether is there any prior versions for this uh, or not but I know from uh, enterprise 6 and this is enterprise 7 I started working on the Cognos from this tool onwards almost 10-12 uh, uh, years back okay and this is Cognos report net here it is having different versions 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 and then there is Cognos 8 series here 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4. Of course, all these versions are having uh, uh, the bug fixes, I mean, fix packs, service packs. And then there is Cognos 10 here 10.1, 10.2, 10.2.1, and 10.2.2. This is uh, the retail, latest release uh, from IBM. Uh, a couple of months back itself, uh, the version released and uh, now let us see about uh, the which are what are the different different uh, tools available in IBM Cognos okay tools broadly divided into two types web based applications and uh, windows based applications first of all what is web based and what is windows based web based applications means uh, no need to install any software in your machine okay web based means uh, no, need, no need to install any software in your machine just like uh, gmail by using any browser you can uh, work with the web based applications server will be installed at uh, some other remote place we need to connect to the cognos server by using uh, any browser and we can start working with that no need to have any software in our machine windows based means uh, we need to install some software in our machine and we need to work with the software what is uh, installed in our machine that is uh, uh, windows based okay first of all let us see about web based applications in web based applications cognos connections this is uh, an entry point of uh, entry point kind of thing for all the remaining web based applications if you want to access any of the web, uh, web based applications first of all we need to connect to these cognos connections and from there onwards you can uh, find uh, links for all these uh, remaining reporting applications okay that is cognos connection portal okay now query studio repo studio analysis studio event studio business inside business inside advance all these are reporting tools only then you may ask why these many reporting applications these many applications are there but this repo studio this is only the professional report authoring tool as a developer most of the times I can say 95% of the times we're gonna work with this repo studio only okay now, uh, this repo studio this is professional authoring tool all the features provided by IBM available in this uh, in this repo studio okay and then I can say query studio analysis studio these two are uh, just like uh, subsets for this repo studio I can say then you may ask uh, we already have the superset repo studio then why the subsets like uh, query studio and uh, analysis studio query studio analysis studio these two are not meant for developers basically query studio and analysis studio those are for end users to create uh, their own ad hoc reports okay then uh, why again you may ask why end users needs to create uh, their own reports uh, our development team is there we are working on development development activities then what is the requirement for end users to create their own ad hoc reports by using query or analysis see not only in cognos in any it development it may be we need to follow the process if uh, individually if you want to see something there they need to raise a request uh, and then okay if they want to see anything there first of all they need to raise a request uh, and then as a development team as a development team we need to uh, get understanding what exactly he wants to individually they want to see there 
okay if we have any doubts then we need to schedule a meeting with them and we need to discuss with them orally we need to get 100 percent clarity on the requirement and then prepare design uh, prepare design documents and submit them for review once the review uh, if any review comments are there we need to update the document again and again submit for review once the review finalized once the review signed off then only we need to uh, start working on the tool develop the report once the development done we need to ensure that our report is showing uh, accurate data before uh, submitting for testing that is called as unit test and then testing people they will play with that if any bugs are there we need to fix them if everything is okay then only the report goes to end user to production okay to do uh, to follow the total process a small report it will take at least two to three days at least two to two, uh, two to three days it doesn't mean that uh, doesn't mean that the report development is complex report development that is easy only but uh, uh, following the process it takes time okay but for user the requirement is not that much great so uh, he, they wants to create their own reports by simply tagging and dropping for that they can use uh, query studio and analysis studio are there okay ad hoc purpose event studio this is event monitoring kind of thing say for example each month and if any of my sales persons are crossing two lakhs of uh, revenue generation i want to send an appreciation mail we can do by using this event studio and the business insight this is a dashboarding tool it is a common web page and you can uh, you can put your standard reports in uh, the business insight business insight advance again this is also a, a, an uh, ad hoc tool with uh, some better features than query and analysis studios some more features than uh, query and analysis studios these two these two business insight and business insight advanced these two are uh, introduced newly in cognos 10.2 in 10.1 also these are there but with a different name uh, business uh, bia business insight and business insight advance these are there in uh, old version also that is uh, okay those are workspace and workspace advance this is workspace and this is workspace advance okay now all these are uh, what i'm saying is all these reporting applications i mean all these reporting applications can produce queries automatically but without knowing the database how these tools can produce sql i think uh, you know about oracle sample tables employee and department but assume you don't you don't know them you forget them okay if i ask you to write a join between the employee table and department table even though you are very good at query writing is it possible with you to write sql without knowing the tables no it is not possible for this tool also it is not possible to write sql without knowing the metadata i mean without knowing about the tables for that here we have a windows based application framework manager framework manager this is basically a metadata modeling tool this is basically a metadata modeling tool uh, we need to import all the tables from the database into framework manager i mean metadata only okay into the framework manager and uh, here we need to apply the join conditions and is there any predefined calculations is there any predefined uh, filters and what are the security mechanisms we need to follow everything we need to specify in the framework manager uh, once the modeling part done create package and publish the package and for these reporting applications we need to use the published package as source now in form of the package these tools knows about uh, database from there onwards these tools can produce queries automatically okay i'll give you some rough example assume you as these reporting applications and me as framework manager in the framework manager what i am doing is uh, uh, we are assuming that you don't know anything about oracle sample tables employee and department okay in the framework manager i am writing about employee table and department table on a paper employee table it is having uh, the columns like employee number employee name manager code commission department number blah 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 department table it is having a department number location if you want to join these two tables use department number this is the common column between these two tables like that i am writing everything on a paper consider that package uh, the paper as package okay i am giving you the package i mean i am giving you the paper if you look into that paper now you knows about uh, 
the employee table and department table way because that already wrote on the paper now you know about the tables from there onwards you can produce queries on your own right okay while explaining about the employee table and the department table in the framework manager i am writing something wrong about those tables just based on my explanation only here you are preparing queries so obviously you prepare wrong query and we gonna get a wrong result in this scenario in this case the problem is there with you or uh, with me yeah the problem is there with the framework manager only why because um, i specified it wrongly in employee and department tables so we, so just uh, based on my explanation only you are preparing the queries here so you prepare wrong query we going to get uh, wrong data the problem is there with the, the framework manager so uh, we need to take much care while uh, doing the models in the framework manager okay and uh, i can say this is a, a hard kind of thing for total cognos and then we have uh, one more windows based application go office we need to install uh, this go office in our machines so you can import uh, our cognos report straight away into ms office like uh, excel ms word like that and you can do further uh, changes if you want this is go office okay uh, usually how the project for flow will be first of all in our working projects we work with the framework manager and we create models and the publish package and once the package published from there onwards we need to start work with this repo studio this is real time uh, work workflow project workflow okay but uh, for learning we are going to learn in a reverse way first of all we are going to cover this repo studio once we are done with this then we, we will move to framework manager why i am saying we are going to learn in a reverse way why because as i told this framework manager this is a heart okay if i change something here in the framework manager then definitely that will reflect in uh, reporting if i change something in framework manager then definitely that will reflect in uh, the repo studio okay if you are able to grasp the changes what is happening there in the repo studio first of all you need to know how this repo studio is behaving while preparing the queries if you know that then while explaining the framework manager i can i can show you like see i am changing something here see how it is reflecting in the reporting like that i can give you the comparisons if you are able to grasp the changes uh, uh, changes if i change something here if you are able to grasp the changes the effect will be in repo studio only so uh, if you know repo studio at first how it is behaving while preparing the queries it will be easy for you to understand uh, that is the reason first we are going to start with repo studio and then we come to framework manager okay once we are uh, done with the framework manager once we are done with the framework manager then we'll move on to cognos connections cognos connections this is a uh, admin features will be available and uh, user features also there we are going to cover all user features and uh, admin features uh, we are going to cover admin features uh, which are useful for a developer not only useful we are going to cover more features which are uh, required for a developer in this uh, cognos connections and then we look into query studio analysis studio event studio business insight business insight advance okay and then we look into transformer this transformer this is a cube creation tool cube creation tool uh, here actually a transformer license uh, itself is different from ibm the course is also different but in this course itself i'll give you overview on this uh, transformer okay uh, how to create cubes i'll explain you in this transformer okay this is our uh, course agenda